Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jeff with Creative IT Resources. Thanks for coming by and checking out my second tutorial. I'm starting a series to basically cover the uh, shared hosting, managed WordPress hosting for GoDaddy, kind of give you an idea what each does. This one specifically is about the managed WordPress starter package. Hopefully that'll help you decide whether or not it's right for you. To check out the show notes, go to creativeitresources.com forward slash tutorial 002. I'll have links and any additional information there that you might need. So, hey, let's jump in. Let's check it out. Here we're at GoDaddy's main page. And let's go to Websites. Click on WordPress Site and Blog. And as I previously mentioned, we're going to talk about the starter and the business packages. But in this tutorial, we're going to talk about the starter package. Tutorial number one, we talked about the number of visitors and the storage. We're not going to dig into that really at all here. Let's go to my account page. If you're not familiar with this, this is where we manage our domains, our hosting packages, our email, among other things. But let's take a look at the email first. And what we're going to point out here is that all that is provided with this package is email forwarding. Essentially, all that means is you have your existing email account from your ISP, Google, Yahoo, whatever it may be. And this is an alias that forwards the email to your primary account. That's all it is. There is no additional hosting here. Let's open up the hosting package. And we have the options button, which all that provides is a way to upgrade the account. We can click on the launch button. That takes us to our WordPress dashboard. Mind you, is the subfolder wp-admin. So let's click on this launch button right here. Again, here's the same thing. Manage takes us to the uh, WordPress dashboard. Let's click on settings. And here in the settings, we're only going to be interested in the domains tab, backups tab, and the FTP settings tab. Domains, we have our primary domain which is citrdemo.com, and we can add additional domains. Let's add a couple and we'll take a look and see what happens. Let's add citrdemo2.com. Let's add another subdomain. How about test. Here we got one already, citrdemo dot com let's take a look and see what we've got now you can see that we have CITR, CITR demo as our primary domain the additional domain and subdomains all these are is their aliases they're these domain names you can enter them in the URL we'll show that in a moment and it redirects to the content at your primary site so here we have citrdemo.com. Let's change this to demo2.com. You can see same content alias URL. We can have test.citrdemo.com. Alias URL, same content. Now, why would you use that? Good example would be I have the domain creativeitresources.com. What if I was able to simplify that for marketing or uh, make it a little bit more easier to remember or, or shorter to type? What if I had CITR.com to work with, with your customers or what the case may be? So let's take a look at the backups. Backups, you cannot force a backup, but a backup occurs daily within the last 30 days or it's retained for the last 30 days as it states right here. Let's expand this and I'll show you what we can do. You can do by files, database, or both. And you can select within the last 30 days a particular point in time that you want to restore back to. Now the drawback about that is, for example, you're working on something, you have a good state that you wanted to uh, maybe be able to go back to an hour or two ago. You can't do that. You have to go back to your most previous backup, which was potentially yesterday. You know, something to think about for uh, if you're making changes you don't want to be doing in your particular production environment. Our FTP settings, here's the URL to FTP to, your port number, 
your username and you can toggle and you can show the password that you would use. So you can actually go out there and maybe dump images into your content folder or, or manually add uh, a theme or a plugin. That's really it. This is pretty basic. So the starter package. Hey, let's take a quick second and try out this uh, remove button here. Nice, so it deletes the site, gives us the option to uh, do a new install or set it up. So we'll hit F5, see what happens. Finish removing the site, click set up here. Yeah, we can create a new site or we can bring over an existing site. That's it, as you can see, there's not a lot to the starter managed WordPress hosting package. If you're looking for a single site, inexpensive hosting solution, this is the one for you. Definitely go to creativeitresources.com forward slash tutorial 002 for the show notes, additional links. Also there you can subscribe to our newsletter. So check that out as well. Anyhow, take care. Thanks again.